Morning everyone, and welcome to this Hope Advent Daily Devotional for Wednesday the 22nd of December. My name's Tim. Um, it's great now that we're on the 22nd of December, which means we're past the shortest day of the year, which was yesterday. So from now on until the summer, uh, the days are starting to get longer again, although obviously we don't really notice it right now. But... Uh, Light is coming, daylight is coming, um, and I always find that a great uh, comfort and hope. And I think the uh, Christmas story is like that. Uh, there's a um, the wonderful uh, idea of light shining in the darkness as Jesus comes to earth. Um, <clears throat> God uh, come to earth as a human to uh, step into our uh, messy, broken world. Uh, to be part of us, <clears throat> uh, we had that great hope of Emmanuel, God with us, um, God stepping down into this world and being born here um, as a baby. And um, I think that picture of um, hope and, um, uh, but that picture of God with us, God among us, um, God uh, stepping down and joining us, um, is. <clears throat> what's kind of in the resonating the background of today's passage uh, but just before I read that um, why don't I pray for us Father thank you for shining your light in the darkness um, and I pray now as we look at this passage together that you would um, be shining a light of understanding and a wisdom and knowledge um, into our hearts this morning Amen <clears throat> so we're in Revelation again today, uh, chapter 3, um, reading really right at the end of that chapter from verse 20. And it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and eat with him, and he with me. The one who conquers, I will grant him to sit with me on my throne, as I also conquered, and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. So the reason why I started just thinking about that picture of uh, Jesus coming uh, into this world at Christmas is that I think in this passage we see <clears throat> that exact same idea, but applied to us individually. Uh, so this passage comes at the end of um, this series of seven letters written to uh, the churches from Jesus, um, seven churches <clears throat> back at um, the time of the, the the start of the church early on. And um, this last letter is written to the church in Laodicea. And um, just before verse 19, um, Jesus is calling uh, the, the people there who aren't following him, who have sort of it feels like the church has sort of lost its way or there's lots of people in the church who aren't believing in Jesus or following him. And Jesus is calling them to repent and then says those wonderful lines, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Um, and that <clears throat> always makes me think of, there's a famous uh, painting um, which uh, we have a copy of in a kind of stained glass at the front of the church. Um and uh, the name of the artist has completely escaped me. So William, uh, I've got it here. Uh, William Holborn Hunt. Is that right? William Holman Hunt. Yeah, that's right. William Holman Hunt. Uh, the picture is called "The Light of the World." It's a picture of of Jesus with a uh, carrying a lantern as the light of the world and knocking on the door. <clears throat> the point being um, that. Just as Jesus stepped down into the, the world um, to come and be among us um, and be among humanity. And ultimately, we know the story unfolds to Easter and the, the reason why Jesus came to uh, die for the sins of the world to save us. Um, but that is true and applies to each of us individually as well. And so there is this offer that Jesus makes, not just in the kind of general sense that Jesus steps into our world um, at Christmas as um, Emmanuel, God with us um, in this world, but 
an offer that Jesus makes <clears throat> to step into the brokenness of our own lives, that he's standing knocking on the door of our hearts, of our lives. And um, all we have to do uh, is open that door and he will come into um, the messiness and brokenness of our lives. Um, just as the baby Jesus came into the messiness and brokenness of this world um, 2,000 years ago, um, Jesus makes the same offer directly to us individually in our lives, um, that he will come in. And then um, it goes on to say, I will come into him and eat with him and he with me. And this wonderful idea of um, eating might not seem very significant, in some ways it isn't, but it's uh, this idea of, of fellowship and um, yeah, sharing hospitality together. But um, this uh, yeah, real strong idea of identifying with each other and um, a kind of closeness of relationship, um, that, that, Je- that that is the relationship that Jesus offers. He doesn't just come in to kind of tidy up and... Um, I don't know, bash things around in our lives and try and knock it into shape. But he, he comes and wants to come in and have a relationship with us and eat with us. Um, that actually, the, the kind of offer Jesus makes to us in our lives um, is not as some kind of drill sergeant or uh, bossy school teacher or anything else. It's um, an invitation to eat with him and to enjoy friendship and fellowship with him. Um, and that it even goes on verse 21 uh, the one who conquers I will grant him to sit with me on my throne as I also conquered and sat down with my father on his throne um, and so this invitation is just for kind of our lives now this is pointing forward um, to, the J- to the day where Jesus will come back um, and come back to rule the earth um, to uh, ultimately and finally conquer and deal with sin and death forever um, and uh, that they will be completely gone and Jesus will uh, rule the earth and he invites us to to rule with him to be part of that um, when when he comes again <clears throat> and so it's yeah it's an amazing um, uh, picture but it's not just a picture it is um, the reality of what uh, Jesus offers up, um, to us uh, both um, what he kind of started um, 2,000 years ago uh, by coming to earth um, in, uh, as a human, um, but also uh, what he goes on and even today um, that offer is available directly to us as individuals, um, that Jesus is, is knocking on the door of our lives. Um, and um, if we've never accepted him before, um, it's really simple. All we have to do is say yes and open the door um, and let Jesus, uh, the light of the world, into our lives. Um, and we can do that this Christmas.